Hello there. I believe it's day 43 of lockdown and today I'm going to talk about this lovely plant here which is known as cleavers, uh, goosegrass, sticky weed, sticky willy. It's got lots of different names but most of them um, come from the fact that it will stick to pretty much anything including all your clothes and your pet's fur. So I'm going to talk about this plant today and I'm also going to invite you to make a cold infusion. It's going to be really warm weather the next few days apparently. So this is a nice refreshing spring tonic drink that you can enjoy in the warm weather. So here is my cold infusion doing its thing and that is just loads of cleavers in some cold water. The cleavers are growing all around it here. Um, in terms of identifying this plant, as well as its sticky qualities, you're looking for a four-sided stem and it feels a bit like Velcro when you run your fingers over it, little hooks all over it. And then you've got these walls or rosettes of leaves every so often on the stem. And they've also got the hooks. Later on in the year, this plant will get those little green balls or burrs on it which contain the seeds and they'll stick to you as well. So it grows straight up initially and then later on it becomes sort of a tangled mass. And I love how easy this plant is to harvest. It's like it wants to come with you. <laughs> Just give it a little tug and it, the whole plant will pull up there and it'll often bring another one or two up with it as well. So cleavers has long been considered a cleansing, detoxifying herb. It's been used in a spring tonic drink for centuries and the contemporary research matches up with that so it's known to have great antioxidant properties, um, good for clearing out the lymphatic system and generally detoxifying the body. Uh, so all I've done to create my cold water infusion is gather a big bunch of cleavers, really easy to do, give it a wash and try and pick from a clean area where there won't be dogs as well. So washing cold water and then I've just scrunched it up in a bowl and crushed it a bit first start releasing those juices and if you smell it at that point it's really lovely sort of like cut grass or hay but with a sweet note to it as well very delicious and that's the kind of taste you'll get as well when you drink your drink later in the day um, and that then goes inside the teapot in some cold water and it's as simple as that so here is my ball of cleavers doing its thing. I'm going to leave that for at least a couple of hours so that all those beneficial compounds can diffuse through the water. Just to mention as well that this is an edible plant and you can just nibble those leaves and they have a lovely pea-like flavour. Hmm, really delicious. So yeah, you can also put those in a, a nice refreshing spring salad. Hello, it's the end of the day. I've left my cold water infusion for a good few hours. The colour has definitely got into the water there and it smells really lovely. So I'm going to enjoy that now as a spring tonic. Cheers and I'll see you next time.